long. You are the Sato, every Sato, forever, oh Lord, mighty God. You are the Sato, every Sato. of our Lord Jesus Christ let's bow down our head as we pray Heavenly Father we are grateful for such a time like this we are grateful for a moment like this we are grateful for bringing us together to know your mind to know those things that borders us day and night. Lord, here we are in your presence, your children all over the world have gathered. Lord, we want to know the truth of your word. We want to know your mind because ignorance of not knowing the truth will not be an excuse on that day. But nobody knows the hour Neither the day when the Son of Man will come. Holy Father, we want to bless you for giving us opportunity like this to come. Merciful Jesus, we have come with our questions. Lord, only you can answer them. I have no power to answer because I know nothing. You are a perfect teacher. You are a perfect master. Lord, come and answer all your children now. Holy Spirit, I pray this evening that every question that will come, Holy Ghost, I hand over the questions before you. Give us the knowledge. Give us the wisdoms. Give us the understanding. Lord, to answer every question so that at the end of this every session your name alone will be glorified lord we come against every distraction we come against every power from the pit of air we come against all the agent of jezebel 
we come against all the agents from the queen of the coast. Holy Spirit, I ask you now to take over the one that we, the ones that we connect from Asia, from America, from Europe, from Africa. They are really tested from the truth. I pray this evening, after this evening, Lord, their life will never be the same, Lord. Blessed be the holy day, for you alone is worthy to be prayed. Holy Father, I leave the session to you now. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. I welcome your presence, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Let your name be Lord be glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are all welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, baby, come online, come online. Come, come, come online. We have come to this program this evening. No, I mean for that, that, that question and answer now. Question and answer program. Please. <laughs> we have come to the, to the time. Come, come. Hey, by, the, by the grace of God. I know that uh, many people are waiting because of uh, many questions are already waiting for us. But I know that God of heaven is going to help us to answer all the questions that will come this evening. I please, if you are there on the Facebook, you are free to share the program. You are free to invite your friends, invite them to this program because if you love, if, if you love somebody. I believe that uh, such a program like this should be a great offer. You should offer to your best friend because many people today in the world, they are what they are making a very big mistake because of nobody could help them from them to know the truth of the gospel. But you that have opportunity to be in such a program like this, I expected you to share it so that the people on your platform, your friends around you, can also be what be uh, they can also benefit of this uh, evening program as you do that and i tell you the lord of heaven will bless you abundantly in the name of jesus christ we are going to begin now by taking because we are going straight to the questions to the right right away and uh, if you're on facebook you have a question please you are free to to call us if you if you have a question I expected the people on Facebook today. I wanted people to change mind. I, I don't want you to I don't want you to feel embarrassed or to feel that uh, if you ask a question and uh, somebody is going to laugh you is a lie. You are free to ask any question at all. By the help of the Lord, I know that God will help us to give you the best answer you need. If there are, if it is a something we cannot answer, I show you that I will refer I will I will direct the question to my father in the Lord because uh, he's a man that loves souls. And because of that, and I know that uh, if any question that comes to him, he will always uh, answer. I pray God will help us this evening in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The Hallelujah. Please, uh, let's take, uh, please, can you read us uh, the first question we are having today? Please pray. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Good evening, beloved brethren. I'm sorry. I think some of us saw my message on WhatsApp. I take it that those that didn't actually reply, maybe they didn't uh, get the message on time or they weren't available to check their phones. I'm really sorry because I traveled with one of our beloved sisters that I visited, so I forgot the notes where I penned the questions down. However, I remember some of our questions but those I can't remember their questions, please, the opportunity will still be granted to you to re-ask your questions. Okay, uh, one of the questions I could remember still from uh, last week was, yeah, Sister Lillian. Uh, but before Sister Lillian, Sister Faith connected. Sister I, Faith. I don't okay. I don't. Yeah, she's not here. Okay. Then I proceed to read Sister Lillian's question. She said, Hold, hold on. Yes, no. go ahead. Sister Lillian, question. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, she says, 
when the rapture takes place, will there still be sun and moon to give light? Or everywhere will be dark because the scriptures say that Christ is the light of the world. So Christ comes and takes his people home. So it means that we, the believer, who are also the salt to salt in the earth, are being taken away. So how would the earth be like? Because as in, in our own perspective, she feels like everywhere will be dark, you know, and, and things like that. So she would like some explanation on what would how would it be like when the when the when the uh, rapture takes place and the sense that called home. Okay. I don't know if anybody that anybody Anybody can answer that question? Hallelujah. Are we are we hearing? The people on Zoom, are you hearing? Sir, so please if so if you can so if you can call me on the WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, okay, okay, okay. uh, so that uh, okay. yes, yeah, so that I can hear you better, please. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yes. Any other person that want to answer her? As we are waiting for our brother. Yeah, we are still waiting. Anybody that want to answer her? Huh? Okay, just okay. let let us just uh, wait a little then. After after our brother have asked a question now, anybody want to answer her? Huh? Nobody answer. And after our brother, I believe that uh, I will proceed so that we will not uh, waste time because I know that uh, many of you are with a lot of questions this year. Uh, this week because of uh, because of what happened last week we could not uh, take the one of uh, last week and uh, because of that we have a lot of uh, question to answer this uh, miss evening and uh, god will help us to okay let's hold on our brother is online yes sir god bless you sir hallelujah Thank you very much for that question. Uh, when the rapture has taken place, when the saint of God has cut off in the rapture to go and meet with the Lord Jesus Christ, the next thing that will happen, there is going to be chaos all over the world. There is going to be confusion all over the world. There is going to be trauma all over the world. The next day, you will begin to hear breaking news. Breaking news. All channels, all media will begin to say breaking news. Missing all over the world. Missing all over the world. The next thing you begin to hear, missing in Japan, missing in Nigeria, missing in Ghana, all over the world. There is going to be chaos and confusion all over the world. But... The sun will see be bright here. The morning will see be as it is. But what is going to happen at that moment is going to be confusion all over the world. Why? Because the saint of God has been cut off. And there is going to be a breaking news and making people to understand that there are missing people all over the world. And many people will go into chaos. People will begin to report their lost children people will begin to report that they miss these people they miss these people they miss these people why because there's going to be trauma all over the world but normally the sun will see the brighter but that is the beginning of sorrow of what is about to happen to that generation as my sister asked that question yes sun will see the brighter the light will still be there, money will be there, but that is the beginning of sorrow. We are now into the great tribulation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are now entering into that great tribulation. There, that is what the Bible now makes us understand that that is when the Antichrist, 
that we be revealed. That is during the after the rapture. And that is where the beginning of sorrow of mankind will begin. Because of no time, I will have to cut it short. Because it's a long story concerning the great tribulation and the next event that is going to happen in the rapture. It's a, wonder, it's a wonderful question. Because many people are ignorant of what is about to happen after the rapture. But the only way that any man can be saved during that period is life must go. He must be willing to lose his life. But because there is no more time, I have to cut it short. As my sister asked a question, yes, the morning will be there, the sun will be there, the night will be there. But that is the beginning of sorrow for humanity that will be left behind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, the people, I hope you have heard, uh, you have heard the answer. Am I right? Yes, sir. And uh, yes, sir. I want to cont I want to say, sir, thank you so much for your contributions so far. And uh, I want to tell the sister, it could have it could have been better you didn't even experience that period at all. No, I'm I don't want to experience I'm, I'm coming. I'm, yes, I know. It will be very it will be very wonderful that we should not even experience that period at all. Because that period is not a period for a Christian should should experience. Because that time we are talking about now, immediately after the righteous took place, there will be no the grace of God will cut off. There will be no grace anymore. The grace of God is not going to be existing anymore. Because the grace has departed. Because of the saint, that is the reason why the grace of God is still available today. Because the saint have not been taken away. Immediately after the saint be taken away, that grace is no longer there anymore. That time, I'm going to show you something that will happen that time. The light will be still be shining as our brother said. And the thing will begin to happen and there will be a lot of accident on the road. Even the, even the plane. Why is somebody who, who is somebody who is a, who is a one of the saints and maybe he's the one driving the uh, is the pilot and uh, when the saint when the saint moves away what happened automatically that flight all the people out inside what is going to happen eh? automatically eh? there will be pre crash are you seeing it now but do you know that those people will not die? Because after the after the rapture, death will, is not going to come, and then you will see terrible thing will begin to happen. A, a somebody who is a somebody who is driving the who is driving train, if the person be ready, and the person will be taken away, and what happened? That train, that train will be going. There will be a great disaster. A somebody that is on the steering who is driving car, and what happened when that person be taken away? What happened? There will be accident. The vehicle is going on its own. Nobody is inside there. There will be there will be this trouble in the war. But this will be the beginning of what of sorrow. There will still be light. Light will begin to shine. But after that, after that, because immediately after this, there will be there will be a tribulation before the great tribulation. There, there will be there will be two type of tribulation, tribulation and what and the great tribulation. I took time today to see all those things because the tribulation, the tribulation that is going to come after this, is going to be horrible. That is the reason why that it is advisable for every Christian in this moment to get ready. For us not to experience that what that 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 uh, that disaster, you cannot face it. We cannot face it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to go to the Bible so that we see what the Bible says.
Let us read uh, in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Revelation. I, I will not have time. We could have taken uh, Revelation chapter six to nineteen to chapter nineteen, but there will be no time. Let's take uh, Revelation night uh, six verse nine. Revelation six verse nine. Let's take it from verse uh, nine to nine to seventeen. Are we there? Please, the people that are there with our Bible, don't waste time this evening. We have a lot of questions, please. Revelation 6, 9. 9. Take it from verse 9, please. I read it to verse 9. Amen. Amen. So when you are on the, the fifth seat, I saw under the altar the soul of them who were slain for the word of God. Please, can you read loud that we are not hearing you? Praise the Lord. Can you hear me now, sir? Yes. Okay. And when he had opened the, the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the soul of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they heard. Verse 10. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge, the, judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white rope were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be that should be killed as they were as they were should should be fulfilled. And I beheld when they had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Verse 13. And and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casted her on casted her family fig when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Verse 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. And when the king of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captain and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man hide themselves in the den and in the rock of the mountains and said unto the mountain and rock fall on us and hide us from the face of him that seated on the throne and from the rod of the lamb for the great day of his rod is come and who shall be able to stand praise, praise god god bless you do you see what happened there? And the, the great men and great women, the ungodly, who are left behind after the saints have cut off, have cut off from the earth to meet the Lord in the air. Let's see, we can also read, we are going to read the book of 1 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And, uh, and uh, you see that uh, how the rich people, the rich men will begin to say, mountain fall on us. Because they want to die, what happened? Death will not come anymore. That time, it will be too horrible. That time, a father cannot know his son anymore. Because it will be too horrible. That time, the first, let me tell you something. The first, because it's going to be, it's going to be seven, uh, seven years, three and a half years, three and a half years in the tribulation. And why the other three and a half years in the great, with the great tribulation? The three and a half year, the first, the first one will not be, will not be, it will not be very tough. But I tell you, you cannot withstand it. But the last one, the this three and a half year that remain, it will be so horrible. That is that is what Bible described. I was reading it today. How Bible described it is a Bible described it a great tribulation. That great tribulation, brothers and sisters. There is a reason why when somebody is telling you about holiness this time, 
about holiness. Somebody is telling you holiness. You are saying these people forget about holiness. He just tells you not tell. How, how will you tell me not to wear trousers? Or how will you tell me not to use makeup? Why will you tell me not to use eyelashes? Why will you tell me that a wevon is a sin? Why will you tell me those things is a sin? Leave this one. We are not in the new world. Ha! I tell you the truth. After the after the after the rapture took place, after the saints have gone, what is going to happen? The pastors, the Christians that jeopardize with their Christianity, that time they will really face it. Now that nobody is forcing you, now that nobody is disturbing you, you have not able to stand to what to live a holy life. Is it the time that I think Christ will be really, really ruling that time? Is that the time you are going to stand? And that time, the, the grace of God is no longer there anymore to guide you. Now you can pray, Satan, I bind you, I bind you. And that time you will call on God. Call, 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 God will not hear. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise uh, the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, it is not a something you and I must what? It must jeopardize with. Because if I did not, if I did not follow the set, simply me and finish. Now that nobody is forcing you to deny Christ. Now, now that nobody is telling you now, nah, if you, uh, now that nobody is telling you all those things, you are still saying now nah, you have time. You are still saying right now nah, is to uh, no, I, this is the time I need to dress. I'm still, I'm still under 16. Yes, under 16 is very wonderful. I'm not telling you are not under 16. But under 16, that time will become under, under 100. It's going to become under 100. It's no longer going to be under 16. Because you cannot, well, you cannot stand it. Those people, that, those people that claim they are Christians and now they are hunting Christ, they are followed, they are followed the doctrine of the demon. It is that time you will not really see, you will not really see the anger of God. It is that time you will not really see what is going to happen. But the Lord is the Lord is telling all of us this evening that we should what that we must we, we should we must run away from those things we are seeing today. That is what the Lord is telling us. That we, we should we should run away. Otherwise, otherwise, what is going to happen that moment? We cannot able to, to stand it. Please. It's a something we must know. It's a something we must do or we must do all our possible best to escape that period. Christians must do all their possible best to escape that period. It's a very dangerous period. It's a period that you and I cannot face. Do you know what is called seven years? Seven good years. Okay. <laughs> God bless you. They have given me same, they say my time because of other questions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you for reminding me the time. Uh, please, uh, God bless you. <laughs> uh, I hope the sister that asked the question, you, uh, you have got the answer. Yeah, it's very clear, sir. Please, sir, can you tell me the first Thessalonians? Okay. Four, but I want to you can go and read the first Thessalonians chapter... Yeah. Chapter seven, verse uh, chapter, first Thessalonians chapter four, verse seventeen. Yeah. You can go and read there. Yes. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Uh, the people on the Facebook, please, you are free to call us for. You are seeing our numbers there on the WhatsApp. You can free. To, you are free to to call us on question, but don't call Jamie. The Jamie number on the WhatsApp. Don't call that one. You can call the one of Italian number on the WhatsApp, please. The next question. Okay. The next question says, Is rubbing white powder a sin? Okay. Somebody is asking, Rubbing white powder, is it a sin? I want to ask the person the question What is the difference between red panda and the white panda and the blue panda? No. Huh? Eh? I'm asking a question. 
because white powder is, is like uh, natural, like you rub it, you don't see when you rub something, just dry up your oil face. Like people that have oil in their face, they always bring oil. You rub white powder, it's like it dry the oil a bit. It's not like when you rub white red powder, that is makeup. You, you rub it, your face change. The color of your face become like brown or red. When you touch it, it stains your hand or your clothes. Okay, now so I'm men, coming. Let us uh, rush to answer the question. Is anybody anybody that want to answer that question so that we move forward? Okay, Sister Comfort wrote here. <laughs> she says sin is sin, blue or white. Okay. Okay. Me, I had my own green or yellow. Okay, just to just to contribute quickly to if we want to read, it will take us time though. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we need we need to be faster for every question because by eight uh, by seven o'clock, we are going to bring a man online from Ghana, a man that will be sharing to us this evening about how he gave power to many pastors. How because he's, he was operating, he was operating from the kingdom of darkness. This man was a, was a, was working for Satan for many years. But uh, he is going to is going to we are going we are bringing him online today. But glory be to God today is now one of uh, one of us, and is going to be online today. By seven p.m. is going to be online all the way from Ghana. This man will be in Ghana. He he, he will tell you he has visited many countries in Europe, but he's in Ghana. He has given power to many pastors. We are going to bring him online by seven dot. Please. Go ahead. Okay, so we'll rush with our time. Yeah. Uh, if we could please quickly turn our Bible to the book of Second Kings chapter nine, verse thirty. Second Kings chapter nine. Yeah, Second Kings nine thirty. Uh Second King. Second yeah. King nine. Or verse thirty. Nine thirty. Okay. Now it says, uh, and when Jehu come was come to Jesri, Jezebel heard of it. Sorry, it's like I'm shouting because I've been struggling with, with my voice. I had some code and so so truth. So uh okay, I proceed. And when Jehu was come to Jesri, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face and tied her head and looked out at a window and as jehu entered in at the gate she said at simbri peace who slew his master and he lifted up his face to the window and said who is on my side who and then looked out to him two or three eunuchs and he said throw her down so they threw her down i stopped there now like we're meant to know that like white powder blue powder black powder brown powder all of the powders are all cosmetics now even making uh should i i wouldn't call it really research because i didn't like uh travel much uh, as in like do thorough research to like get to some of the answers and stuff like that but i think this was a write-up from adam clerk no he actually was saying that uh no these are sorry this is a brown commentary from jai Mason. So you actually was saying that Jezebel painted her face now according to custom. So according to like deep research, they were like what Jezebel painted her face with was actually a uh, black powder made of uh, pulverized, uh, yeah, pulverized uh, antimony, like grounded uh, antimony. And so, and it was mixed with oil and some other small things. So she used small brush just like People do it today, no? So you could see that. So if someone did deep research and see that the things we are using today was part of what Jezebel was using for her eyes, I, I don't see any reason, like our sister rightfully said, that there are some people that have oily face. I naturally, I have oily face. But now, not to contribute to it. Don't put cream. Don't put cream on that face. If because you you just want to lock the pubs as in where the oil are coming from then don't put cream and also some people then i remember while growing up there are some things you eat that actually cause that as in 
that oil to increase because naturally I have oily face, but I think some of our sisters have seen me. My face is not so oily that I'm not like looking for something to clean it. There must be something you are eating that is actually not good for you. Like if we even go to research Bible, even though for me I'm still like struggling with it, God gave us principles of things to eat and things not to eat. If you watch the Bible told the children of Israel about uh, this meat, pork meat, there is a reason for that. I was kind of studying some details about it. Apart from the oil, I find out that that's, um, I have forgotten the name of it, but I'll, I'll go back to my research and bring it back to us. There is a specific reason why the Lord told us to avoid it. There is a specific reason, apart from it being oily. So you control some of the things you eat. And I would say that our even if you have oily face, it's not oil to that extent that you are looking for maybe a towel to wipe your face and things like that. If it's oily, then stop applying cream to that extent. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless. Sir, please, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to go ahead and this is same with my answer. To me, Robin White Father is not the same. What the reason yes. to me to me, I have to be sincere with myself and then I'm going to do my reasons now. For example, like my children, when they were when I have a day back to them, they use powder under their bumble. That is that is the that Sometimes, is a, I'm coming. That is a dust powder. Dust powder. Coming, eh? That is dust powder now. It's no, no, there is no oh. powder. The powder is painful. This one is not the powder, it's just natural powder. Yes. The reason is because the reason is because the, the baby they have a, this uh, peeling. They normally have peeling. And if you put this powder in, it will help that peeling to stop. The place will not be dry. Like just what Sister Lillian said, somebody that has oily face, or maybe you have rashes, you have some rashes in your face. They are some powder. They are not sure. They are not sure. They can help you to remove all those rashes, all those things from your face. Like what somebody said, just now that blue powder, black powder, yellow black powder. If you want to categorize, categorize it that way, what about cream? We have bleachy cream. We have different type of cream. But the things of the world you want to buy, if you go to the market, you look for cream that will not bleach your skin. Natural cream. You can also look for natural powder. The way they do it, you can also use it in your face. To me, it's not a sin. Because sometimes, there are this uh, thing, don't use it for, don't use that one. Okay, what about roll-on? People use roll-on. Why do they use roll-on? They use roll-on to, to prevent sweat a bit from your armpits and to prevent body odor. Okay, you have to stop using the roll-on so that when you go everywhere, you just learn it. That is not how God wants us to do. Our God is a God of cleanliness. If you go to markets, the wisdom, God has given us the wisdom. You can look for natural products that will be contain anything that will change the color of your skin. That is the most important thing. They will change you. And then they will be using all this brown powder, all this uh, makeup that will make uh, you to look different from the natural way God created you. You don't have to look different from that natural way God created you. But for you to use white powder, Maybe to, 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 to remove a uh, skin rashes. Or uh, it is not a sin because if you tell me that it is a sin, meaning that if I give it, maybe if I give it again, I have to stop using powder for my child. It's not good, it's not like that. Okay, to me, sister. I don't think for me, I don't live back to other people. For me, yeah. I don't think yeah. using white powder is not a sin. <laughs> God bless you. Hold on. God bless you. Uh, I've heard what uh, sister said. We are fasting because of the time. Because by 7 p.m., we are bringing somebody from uh, from uh, from Ghana, a man uh, that will tell us what really happened, how he was working for Sita. Because of that, we are fasting to make sure that uh, we keep the time for him. Because I'll be I'm be planning to bring him online. It was uh, today that I I he contacted me. I told him that yes. It just because of my time this this uh, panda of no panda number one praise the lord hallelujah number one when we talk of a panda of no panda let's come to reality if you are using panda 
because of um, because of your yeah, of oil in your face because of that that's why you are using panda i want you to do research what can i do to stop this oil without panda are you seeing it now if uh, number one anything you anything you are doing you must first of all check what is the motive of me doing it you use panda why am i using panda you first of all check check it if paravention that the, the motive of you using panda is because of uh, you have too much of oil why can't you number one many people some of you eat granite you find out that when you eat granite the granite cost oil in your body and uh, you first make research and check what is causing me oil in my face and work on work on it when you work on it you find out that that oil will stop therefore the money you are spending for panda now you will not spend money from panda anymore god said that yes god loves cleanness god loves cleanness because cleanness cleanness that is what is after uh, holiness cleanness is what cleanness is what Cleanness is what now? Godliness. godliness. Am I right? Cleanness is godliness. Every Christian, every Christian, you must to know that yes, you must to what you must to clean yourself. Cleaning yourself does not mean that uh, does not request you to be say right now, panda or pancake or this. No. First of all, you check like on the one you mentioned about children. Children, yes, wonderful. Because when you born, when you give birth to the children, eh, that is the reason why you are using panda from their bonbon. Be, maybe sometimes because of rashes, am I right? Because of rashes or because of infant, infant, uh, infant. Doctor will tell you this thing. You will use this thing so that the child will not have infant. Anything like that. Yes, all these are wonderful. But you, as an adult, uh, they are telling me my time again. Okay. Okay, okay. No, sir, that was the first. Okay, okay, praise the Lord. Now, when we when we when we check the solution of uh, why is it that why is it that oil is coming to my face? When you work on that, you will find out that that oil will stop. That is a some that is that is a something there. You are using natural cream, fine. As a Christian, you are free to use that natural cream. But if you find out like me, sometimes I tell you, sometimes a week I do I didn't even rub uh, I will not even rub my cream. It does not change it does not it does not change anything when i see that my body is too dry i will not say okay let me where is my cream i begin to look for it and before i will i will rub it but if you find out that uh, you check that every little thing you have the uh, oil on your face what do you need to do you work on you work on that oil work on that oil if you if you find out you are the type of person that granite is not is not good for your body I'm trying to do what to reduce to reduce it that is just it. I'm not telling you that uh, it, uh, if you find out that uh, I'm not telling you that uh, 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 white panda is a sin. But if anything you are doing that your conscience, uh, your conscience must judge you. Are you seeing it? Now we have spirit of God inside us as a Christian. That is what makes us to become Christians. And as long as you find out that what you are doing, you check it that yes, you are using this panda because of this thing did not stop. And your spirit I tell you to continue. No problem about that, my dear brothers and sisters. We must do, let us uh, take things, uh, take things the way God wants it to be. But if you find out that yes, you can stop, you can reduce your granite so that that oil will not be coming. Reduce your granite and the word and leave uh, and leave panda alone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope we are okay with that. No, sir. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 sir. I didn't hear somebody say no. Eh? Sister Blessing. Sister Blessing. Sister Blessing. Sister Blessing, you said what? I want to know. Yes. Sir, sir, my last statement to you. Um, mm. I'm very, very, I'm very, very pleased with that last statement you made. Okay. You said that if you are doing anything, mm. eh, mm. you have the thing to do. Yeah. If the spirit of God will do you, or if the spirit of God will do you, that this thing you are doing is wrong, you have yeah. to stop it. Yes. 
That but is like, this rule, this, this rule of making it, there was a time my friend and one of our sister in our church said, the sister came to me think that the something that is urging her. Now, why is it that our pastor wife she is using wood to plate her hair? She shall be she shall be complaining because she's not using wood, but our pastor wife is using wood. So she was not able to keep it again. She now said that we should go and meet meet them to speak to them. Mm. So I now we we now want to meet our pastor to ask our pastor that why is it that your wife is using wood to plate his hair? So what pastor think that to your that? If your spirit carries it, your spirit, God, I just, your, your, the, the spirit of God did not rebuke you for coming that issue. You can go ahead and do it. Yeah. You understand it? Yeah. But if your spirit, is your, if your spirit rebuke you that it is wrong, you have to stop it. Yeah. To me, I look, I look at it that you see who to plate and you can see. For a long time, how many years, I don't use wool on my head. Yeah. I don't use wool. So I've seen yeah. our pastor like using it. I was a bit worried. So I have to go and add. It was exactly what he said. This last minute, that was the same thing he told us. Yeah. God, so, God bless so, you. Yeah, God bless you. You remember that uh, every day by day, I told you people on this group about a trouser issue. Maybe you hear that I preach a, a trouser is a sin. Go and pray about it. Don't say because of Batlobi say it today, you want to go and remove it. No, don't do that. First of all, have the conviction. Have the conviction that yes, this thing is what is not good for you. When you have the conviction with the spirit of the Holy, with the Holy Spirit, because the Holy, when you now pray, now my own is to what is to give you the the word is to give you the information about God. Now your own now is for you to go and pray. Say Lord, that small boy. This is what that small boy said. Though. Are you say? Are you hearing that, Lord? This small boy, what he say every day about this shout is it? Is it true? Are you the one that sent him or not? When you go and pray, God will tell you, yes, because the Spirit of God is not inside you. That Spirit of God, I told you time ago, there was a day I dressed up. I was going to evangelism that day. I moved for a uh, 30 minutes driving. As I reached where I want to evangelize, I just put on polo that day, polo without no color, those polo that don't have color. I just wear it. As I read there, I want to pray. The, the spirit was telling me, look at you. Just look at yourself from your head to your toe. You want to preach. You want to preach. I, do you know that I was ashamed of myself like, I, like, like somebody poured shit on my body. I was ashamed. I could not tell anybody that God loves you. The next available boss, that is the boss that carried me rich house. <laughs> I could not stand it. Because the spirit of God will begin to torment you. But I pray that the spirit of God will begin to torment all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. No. Sorry. No, because, because, because of time. It's not everybody that have that conscience that the Spirit will be judging them. So when you are saying this, sir, don't say uh, uh, when their conscience is judge them. Because live in sin because in the bible sir you see all the verses you, you have been preaching it you who want to take it let it take it yes who don't take it, it is left it is left for the person god bless you, for you. <laughs> god. people will be sin people will not change they will say they feel comfortable in living with those things they will never remove it sir so when you just tell your own it's in the bible you preach it to them who want to take it let it take it. who are still at no act the rancho we we meet that they, they, they were left behind them they will know that what you have been saying is true for Amen. Example, Amen. Father, Amen. I know when i rub it my conscience tell me a dollar i've heard it before why as i see i still just want to confirm if it's true so for that one sir don't Talk about the the conscience. Uh, uh, sorry, sir, if I if I said this because people we we not like to change. Yeah, let Thank me. You, sir. Yeah, sorry. God bless you. No problem. God let me, bless you. God bless you. Let me tell you something. Anybody that said that he must go, he he must go to heaven. That the person does not have the spirit of God. He will know that that person want to create heaven for himself, not the heaven of God. Because the spirit of the Lord is the one that rebuke us. Is the one that reveal the truth. Is the one that reveal sin to us. Therefore, if you say you want to go to heaven, that you are a Christian, that the spirit of God, in, the spirit of God cannot rebuke you. 
Simply mean that person is what? That person, I don't, um, the spirit of rebellion have entered that person. That, that is the truth. We must know that because if the spirit of God is in you, the spirit of God will begin to rebuke you. The spirit of God will begin to tell you the sin. The spirit of God will tell you you cheat somebody. The spirit of God will tell you you lie just now. You went to Komu and lie. If I begin to ask all of you today, now your day, throughout your day, somebody, somebody if I begin to ask, how did you go today? Did you not lie to, miss, uh, to this one? To this one, somebody will say, ah, sir, I just lied for I just lied. I went to Komu. I was just trying to do something. I lied. Lie is lie. Sin is sin. I pray God will help us this period in Jesus' name. Me, I lie to a lie. My husband asked me why, why I'm not wearing my wedding ring. I lied to him. I say because it's too big for my finger. <laughs> you need to go and make the, you need to go and make restitution to to him. <laughs> you need to go back and tell him, only that is not true. Okay. Okay. Uh, you need to go and tell. You need to go and tell him. Um, the next question, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God, it's, it's becoming interesting. <laughs> okay. So um, moment, moment. Yeah, we're the done with Sister uh, Lillian's. Okay. Now we enter. Okay. Yeah, uh, Sister Glory, I see you there. <laughs> Good evening, ma. Okay. Yeah, I said, is dreadlock seen even when you do it with your natural hair? Okay, if dread is a sin, anybody that can answer her, dread is it a sin? I don't know the people on Zoom, the people on Facebook. You are free to call because we still have a little time before our 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 special guest of today will before he will be online because of, he's on his way now. He just send me a message. He said, "I am I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my way home. Please give me a short time. I will join you." Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I still am really happy for this question because someone has also been saying, you have long hair, so why do you want plait your hair? <laughs> Dread is like plating as well. So, praise the Lord. But I, I like... Hallelujah. I like it's, yeah, it's an interesting one indeed. And like, if we turn our Bible to, I think, Second Timothy chapter... Sorry. If we turn our Bible to Second Timothy, uh, maybe because of Please, the time, people just... on Facebook, share the message. I invite your friends. If you are interested, if you are happy of this message, it's a wonderful message that your friends should not miss. Help them. Invite them. Let them come and hear the word that will help them to prepare for rapture. Please. Go ahead, sister. Just two Praise minutes, please. Okay. Like, uh... Let me start from the dread, and maybe I may end up with the plating, the twist, and other words. Like we know that from the Old Testament, when a special child was actually to be born, God gives the parents instruction what to do and what not to do. And something happened uh, to be one of those children. Like God told the parents, of some seed. don't do this, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Because the child you're about to give birth to is going to be a Nazarene unto me, like a Nazareth, a special child. But now, but before we go to analyze that, we need to understand the meaning of dread. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I asked the question, I don't know if you research that as well. The meaning of dread. Dread is actually uh, as, as in Dread origin, like someone was, I, I was reading someone's comment. He says that uh, dreadlocks actually originated from the white westerners who visited the island and saw the way our black hair looked like, you no? Know? So because our hair is not just like theirs, so some of them, no combing and stuff like that. So the whole thing, like, uh, are, are all stick together. And that was where that thing come from. But now, analyzing the word dread, it actually means to be distressed or apprehensive. That tells you right there that the Esther is not, as in someone say, yeah, that tells you it's not of God, because why? It, it tells you the dread itself means distressed or apprehensive, as in someone kind of tied, as in bound to do something. If we look at it from the aspect of something, 
Samson actually was apprehended by God. He didn't have his free life to live because God actually allowed him to be born for a specific purpose. And for that reason, God allowed that. Because God also gave instruction to the parents and said, no razor should come on his hair. And the strength of Samson was on that hair. That's why the Lord instructed, no razor should be on that, should come on that hair. And the Bible even used it, that the locks of his hair. So God permitted it that he should have locks. So it wasn't actually for everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even on the case of John the Baptist, God didn't now say no razor should come on. But God also gave like specific instruction for John the Baptist's birth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And also the case of Jesus, who was special to the Lord, about the case of Samuel. God did it now refer to the hair that yeah, allowed his hair to just grow like that, don't touch it and things like that. So dread was actually made for this specific person and not for us as believers. Praise the Lord. God bless now, you. I was also stop. God bless you. Shall I proceed? <laughs> uh just uh just one minute. Go ahead, one minute, please. Okay. Yeah, I was actually like taking time as well because I weave my hair, my hair is long, but because sometimes it's not convenient for me always every morning to comb my hair, rush into school and, and things like that, I do weave my hair. So someone could say, but the scripture told us in First Peter, the scripture told us and said not in plating of the air and things like that. Now, but now the, when, when he talked about plating of the air, I researched into the life of the Jews why peter would use such word i came to discover that the jew as in let me say the jewish the hebrew people of that time because of their excess long hair they didn't just weave their hair but they added other braids to it there were some other things they added to their hair and it became like a god to them you get it and that actually like for them doing their hair was not just to weave their hair but there were other things they were adding to their hair that was calling attention you get it and so that was the reason peter was telling them that this is not what god is referring you to do because to the uh, to those people of that time using the word plate didn't just simplify we weaving our hair normal but it refers to something else praise the lord i, I wouldn't you. go in essence now because i like add some notes down and things like that but i wouldn't want to go in essence but if you want to find more details on this you could write me i would send you some some articles and some of the things i discovered praise the lord god bless you um the young man just wrote me now that is still the next one hour let us let us continue about the dread our beloved sister that asked that question i know that um, i pray god will help you more and more because i believe you want to really you want to really make amendment to live for christ that is the reason why you asked that question but I will, I will yes. rush to answer that question. As a Christian, remember what the Bible said in the book of James 4.4. 4. Let's read our Bible there. James 4.4. 4. James chapter 4, verse 4. Are we there? Are we there? James 4 4 says, say yet, he said, ye adulteress and adulteress, adulteress. Know ye not that what? That the friendship of this world is enemy with what? With God. Whosoever we are for, we be a friend of this world, of the world. Is what? Is enemy, is enemy of God. If you check the people that are in the world, all those, you see them those days. I could remember at my master in the school when the uh, some of my friends we use the dread to come to school boys he will look at them he will say ah look at this guardian he always use that word guardian always use that word guardian simply mean that that dread lord is not what is not good and now as a christian as a christian you are a christian you are not expected to what to be like the people in the world. There must be what there must be separation. There must be a separation there. Spiritual friendship, friendship of this world, is not what is not acceptable 
between Christians and the people in the world. There are things that the world people can do. You, a Christian, cannot what? You cannot do it. Because of that, my, my advice for you, if you are carrying dread, stop carrying it as a Christian. You should not what? Carry it. It's better you you remove it if you can remove if you can if you can cut it if you can lose it you lose it but if you find out you cannot lose it go and bob your head and let uh, let fresh hair start again praise the lord praise hallelujah. the lord hallelujah i hope you are okay with that your i, I hope you are okay with your uh, with your question Yes. Okay, yes. God bless you. The people the people on Facebook, please, you. I said the line is free. You are free to call us. You are free to share their message. Invite your friends. This is a very, if you love your friend, the best, the best thing you can offer to a friend is to show your friend the rule to the truth. Yeah, that is the best thing you can offer to your brother, to your sister. Not money. You are giving money, the money that will perish tomorrow. Give the person the information of eternity. Information that will help the person to reach heaven. That is the greatest gift you can give to somebody. Not money, not houses, not food, but the greatest info, the greatest gift to save that person's life, that person that is on his way to her, to deliver that person, to, for that person to have eternal life. Praise the Lord. Any other question? I hope, I hope we yes, are done. Yes, yes, More question. Oh, wonderful. Yes, there was a uh, sister Chuchu. I think sister Chuchu. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about what about put wedding ring? Okay. Okay. The sister, she's talking about putting out wedding ring. If it is what? If it is a sin. Yeah. Okay. Anybody that can answer that? Wedding ring. <laughs> Anybody that can answer her putting on wedding ring. Is it a sin? Nobody could answer her. <laughs> Jewel, a wedding ring is part of jewelry. So I for me, I don't think it's it's good to put on wedding ring. There was never a wedding ring in the Bible. So for you, it's also part of jewelry. We are, we are saying that we shouldn't put on anything gold or jewelry and yeah, stuff like that. But if you are wearing jewelry because, <laughs> because of marriage, you are still putting on ju uh, uh, jewelry that the Bible speaks against. No. Yeah, God bless you. Please, just Thank hold on. You. Please, brother, uh, uh, how many minutes are you going to be, be online? Because we are waiting for you. Like, how long are you going to be online? No way, no way. If it is tomorrow, I'm free. Today, are you free today? Because to... I'm free today. How many hours do you want me to spend? No, are you going to be... On... When can you be on Facebook now? So that I invite you. All the time I know. All the time I'm online. Okay, if you're on Facebook now, yeah. Uh, enter my program. The program is on. Yes, you. If you go to Facebook, then just send, just say go to my uh, live uh, live bro uh, brokers now, so that I can invite. Eh? Okay, thank you. Now let me pack and call you. Okay. I'm driving. Okay. Let me pack while I call you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Blessing. Sister Blessing, are you there? Okay, Sister Blessing, she's not there. Okay. The sister. The Lord. Hallelujah. For me, I, I, I believe wedding ring is a sin because in the Bible, when, when God said, uh, man, uh, uh, husband and wife, that man should marry a woman, they become one. There is no 
place in the Bible that God said that they should wear the woman with a ring. And the truth must be told because what is what would they used to wear? The people, most people of today, they 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 are they are they are married now. They build their marriage on top of that uh, ring, which they supposed to build their marriage on top of the word of God. So they can wear you in the church with the with the Bible. If you are really a, a true born again Christian, those ring we, we are seeing before I was I am desperately to, to get even engagement. I want my husband to be to engage me with a, a ring before the wedding ring. But when I come to the truth of the matter that uh, all those things on that day it will not count. Those things can even hinder you not to make heaven. So me, I'm not even thinking about that one. If God bless me, the, the man to understand that we are going to wed with the Bible. So wedding ring for me is a sin because it's a part of those jewelries, as our sister Elia said. Putting on wedding ring, that one will not even, it is, it, God is not looking onto that one. So wedding is not going to stand because I put my wedding ring in the hand, my husband will not cheat on me or my wife will not cheat on me. There are some people, they have it in their hand. When they still want to do what they will do, they will remove it in their hand and do what they want to do. So where the ring, I believe this is the, the thing. It is the people of the world that, that introduced that thing into the world. It's not God. It's not from God to wed with a wedding ring. Praise the Lord. That's the little I can say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Um yeah. It's the word of God that join people together, not spring. God bless you. Um, just uh, a moment. It said a uh, wedding ring. Is it a sin? Sister, what is the purpose of uh, that, word, that ring? Are you, speaking, are you talking to me? Yes. I don't, I don't actually wear it anymore. I just wanted to know. I know, I know, I know that... Like, I know it's a saying, I believe everything they are saying. I just wanted to know because I heard people say it before. So I just wanted to confirm if this is true. Okay. Uh, number one, you know that, uh, hallelujah, who is, who is speaking? Sorry, sir, I'm not allowed to contribute. Okay, just a minute. A minute, just go ahead. Just i give you one minute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, actually, like um, I, I'm always doing research. <laughs> I researched into this uh, wedding ring because someone actually, there was a time I spoke with someone from South Africa because he was preparing a wedding, so he was really confused about this wedding ring of everything. So, but then according to as a research, like old time ago, we should look into the. Can I say the period of the Romans? Like, first of all, before the Romans, finger rings mentioned in the Bible as signet of authority. Like Pharaoh gave the ring to Joseph. It was a symbol of authority. And when we come to the Roman, they were credited for uh by own hearing the use of the signet ring as betrayal ring, as in the Roman like used it for that extent. But these other people like the Hebrews, the Egyptians, uh, I think also the Grecian Empire, it was used as the symbol of authority. But now we saw the Jews, as in, and the Christians, they borrowed actually this practice from the Romans. So it wasn't actually godly practices. And even this usage of Jews and things like that, even if God allowed it initially, but then why the children of Israel were living with Jacob from uh, when they left Laban's house and God told them to, to go back to the place where he had the cancer with them. Jacob told them and said, bring ye the strange, the strange idols, the strange gods in your midst. Why didn't they give him their eta? Why didn't they give him their slippers? It was actually this thing that is blowing them. They know that this thing is an idol. And so they actually they actually brought their jewel to to give to to give to Jacob. But now we had God began to detest these jewels, including rings and all these things, because they are all jewels. What happened was 
when Moses had to go meet with the Lord to get to the Ten Commandments, what happened? The children of Israel said to Aaron, As for this Moses, we know not what has become of him. Make us another idol, as in the God that brought us out from Egypt. What happened? He told them and said, Bring your earrings. So earrings since then became a snare unto the children of Israel. So there is a particular place I'm even looking for in the book of uh, Isaiah, where God was telling the children of Israel and said, all these things is not what I require from you. Their usage is of, is of no use to me. Because God was even seeing Israel at that moment, them applying all these things on themselves, God saw them to be hallowed. Because God told them, you've been estranged from me to other men, which were the Assyrians, the Moabites, and all these people. You know, God really detested them, but I'm actually trying to lay hands on this particular scripture. What I told that beloved brother who really wanted to know before his wedding, I was like, if now wedding ring is going to lead you to hell. Okay, I have seen, I read the story of is it Prince Charles with Princess uh, Diana. I, I did some research on their wedding ring. I think not even their wedding ring now, their proposal ring was 28,000 pounds. But still, in the marriage ring, was it the ring that kept them in that marriage? We've seen so many people married with wedding ring. Where are their marriages today? But tell me that couple who offered the word of God, the Bible to themselves, and their marriage are broken. So why should it be ring that is an issue? Give your husband the Bible. Let the word of God lead him. Tell him, promise, as in this, what I'm giving to you as as my is it proposal or whatever. Praise <laughs> the so, Lord. And I tell him, this Bible, you I remain propose faithful. You propose to me. You remain faithful. Your time, you praise the Lord. If that man to read, the Bible will hold him back. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you and God bless all of you. The Bible said the time of ignorance has passed away. You see people today, why, what is the, what is the symbol of that wedding ring? What is the symbol? Who can tell us? What is the symbol of that wedding ring? The, the symbol is like, they take it like oaks. Okay, now it does seem the, the the wedding ring simply uh is a uh why people are why people are using it they are using it so that uh, if somebody see you on the road the person will know that this person is occupied am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Have you not seen people having wedding ring? They will still go to a hotel with another woman, another man. The people that are that they have wedding ring, and at the end they are going to a hotel. They will now put it inside their log, inside their inside their pocket, uh, pocket, and they will enter hotel with what? With another woman, with another man. It is the word of God that join your people together. Are you seeing it now? With what? Yes. With 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 your heart. It is the word of God. The word of God has bind both of you together. Right, Whether you put on the wedding ring or without no wedding ring, if the person have not been overtaken by the love of God or by your love, the person will still leave you. We go and sleep with another man. The person will still go. We still leave you and sleep with another woman. Okay, um, Mr. Daniel. Okay, you are, I'm trying to uh, call you on a video call here. Just a click, uh, click the video because you are right here. I'm not seeing you. I'm not seeing you coming on the on the on the video. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to pick you up, but I'm not seeing you. Just click on the vid. Click on the video so that I can see you online. I'm not seeing you here, Mr. Daniel. Just I'm not seeing you to invite you, please. I don't know if anybody can help me to direct Daniel. Watch my Daniel, please. That is a brother that I need to. That I need to bring online. If somebody on Facebook. Can just help me to write the person what to do there. Let me tell you something. It is not that ring that have it's not that ring that have bind you people together. What bind you people together is the love. Am I right? Is the love. As my sister have as, as analyzed, whether you want that ring, we should not uh, we should not be like the people in the world. 
as you are a Christian, you have married. The day you have married, that is the day you have you have vowed me to God that I will be faithful, I will be what? I will be loyal, I will be submissive to my husband, to my wife, or to what? Or to death do us part. That ring, you just put that ring there to disturb that your hand. That ring does not change anything. Whether you use the ring, it does not change anything. The man can still throw it away. The man will carry another woman to hotel. What is in, what is in end of that uh, that ring? That ring will become what is useless. It's inside the heart. When first of all, you must have the love of Jesus Christ. If the love of Jesus Christ is in, is in that marriage, two of you are what are safe and secure. Do you know that if there is no love of Jesus Christ in marriage, whether you have the highest ring in your hand, the, 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 man, will, the man will leave you, the man will still go to a hotel with another woman. But if the love of Jesus Christ is there, I assure you, my dear brother, I assure you, my dear sister, because the love of Jesus Christ is now what have tied that man heart. That man that man is that man will never see any other woman as woman. The man will begin to see other women like what right like a like a tissue paper. That nothing, no woman that is like my wife. Why? Because the love of Christ is there. Whether you are beauty or no beauty, the woman, the man is saying there is no woman on earth that is beauty like my wife. Why? Because of the love of Jesus Christ. The love of Jesus Christ have what have tied both of you. That is the love of Christ. First of all, when you now when you now embrace Jesus Christ, as you embrace Christ, Christ will not join two of you together. As you people have joined together by Christ, simply mean that marriage is what is safe and what and secure. That is the word of God. <laughs> that is the word of God for you. But if the love of Christ is not there, if you like, use the highest ring in the world. Use the highest ring. A time will come, if you talk to the man anyhow, the man will tell you, the man will not show you his color. He will show you his color. Why? Because the love of Christ is not there. But I pray that the love of Christ will be in your home. Let the love of Christ bind your home. Not the love, not the love of the wedding, not the word of, uh, the love of that wedding ring. That wedding ring is what is nothing. It's not any, it's not standing as a symbol of love. The symbol of love you must give to your husband or you must give to your, your wife is the heart. Give your heart to your husband. And let the husband give the heart to the wife. If there is nothing like this, I tell you that ring you put on your hand, I, I advise you to use plier to cut it off and go and put it in those be. Because it does not change anything. That one does not mean that that marriage will not broke. That marriage can that marriage can destroy. That ring does not change anything. That this ring you put, I put ring on your hand. That you see people say, I give you this ring as a symbol of my of my love. Of which that they did not give their heart to the love. That is useless love. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why I'm not talking about marriage? I want to, the time is coming, I want to talk about marriage, not now. <laughs> I don't want somebody to feel embarrassed. <laughs> well, I want to talk about marriage, not now. Because when I'm talking about marriage, so that people will really know that, yes, yeah, this man is into the, into the wedding. Therefore, he knows what he's talking about. He's practicing what he's talking about. If I begin to tell you now, so you may say, ah, because you are a single brother, that's the reason why you are talking about marriage. No. Marriage is what? Okay, sir. I have, okay, it was, should I call Daniel with my Facebook? Hello, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Yes, we are trying, yes, sister. Okay, go ahead. Sir, I want, to, I want to say something. Now that we know uh, about this ring, Mm. Okay, now nah, if somebody wants to get married, nah, there is no need to bury. What is our conclusion? Okay. We have to get the conclusion. Okay. Whether is, is, there is need or whether there is no need. There is no. If you are like uh, like us, we don't uh, we don't believe on that. Okay, hold on first. It's okay. 
Use okay, use Bible. Okay, um, you can have a yes, call Daniel, please. I'm trying to, I'm not seeing him here. Daniel, I'm not seeing you, but I'm seeing other people like Sister Lillian. I can I can put them on Facebook on the video. I'm seeing uh, Sister Juliet. I'm seeing Grace, uh, Sister Grace. I'm seeing Sister Every. I can put them on the on the um, live on Facebook now, but I'm not seeing you, Daniel. I don't know why. Please. Um, now let me tell you something about the about that because I want to put Daniel so that we can be seeing Daniel uh, face to face about that. About the about the wedding ring you are talking about, no. If you are a Christian, you want to you want to marry. Wed, wedding ring does not change anything. What change some? What change the matter is the love of Christ that bind two of you together, not that wedding ring. For me, I'm not advising you to go and you spend money to go and buy wedding ring. You say you want to go and buy wedding ring. Of with that after you buy it now the next two months the man will tell you this wedding ring the man will put inside the pocket and go to hotel the first thing let the marriage be what be taken by what by the love of christ when their heart are be bound together by christ the first thing a man should do or a woman should do a woman should pray and say lord give me the bone of my bow the flesh of my flesh when you not get the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh, as long as heaven approve it, you don't need the wedding ring. The only thing now, the Bible, the Bible, which is the word of God, is the one that binds two of you. Not that thing you call wedding ring. Have you not seen many wedding, many people that, that have a wedding ring today? Where are the wedding? Where are the where are the marriage? Where are the marriage that people spend more lot of money to buy wedding ring? The marriage have become what the marriage have broken to pieces. Why? Because all these are fake love. There is no inner heart love. Inner heart love, in, in the heart love, that is a genuine love. That is a sincerity love. But if if the if the love is not inside the heart, simply me, if you like, you spend one million to buy a wedding a, a, a ring, that ring is useless. Because of that, you don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you have got the answer, sister. This sister that asked the question, sister Hope. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, God bless you. Please, uh, our that is our brother from all the way from Ghana, want to tell us, want to share with us his life story, how he gave power to many. Okay, say so please, I need help, please. So can I? Can I? Yes, I'm not seeing you, Mr. Daniel, brother Daniel. Say, so, okay. As for me, I don't want to be any woman private chat just to avoid chat things. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, please, I don't know that Daniel. Um, just uh, hold on. We are trying to bring Daniel all the way from Ghana so that he uh, can be. He can. Uh, he can tell us something, okay? No, they did. Okay, Daniel. I'm, 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 watch, I'm online. I'm watching you. Yes, I, I, I know you are watching me. Look, look at me. Are you seeing it yeah. now? Yeah, no. Yes, I'm seeing you. Are you, see, are you seeing my hand? Yes, I can see you. Are you seeing my hand now? You are seeing here? Yes, please. Okay, now you click here. Go to your Facebook like this. When you when you press my this thing, explain. Then you come here there is a place here you click it here when you click here it will give me a symbol that you want to call me on video call therefore i will pick i will not pick it here you are you seeing me now live yes i'm seeing you sir. okay as you are seeing me now live just here in the dam you will see a place where you where you can write a comment after before the comment there is a something here you will press when you press it uh please okay Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any other question? Any other question? Okay, no question. But the question is not finished, bro. Ah, the question I've not finished. 
No, we have a lot of questions that they will ask. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hello, Sister Lord. Eh? It's me, Sister Joy from Germany. Okay, Sister Joy, go ahead. God bless you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I want to ask because um, I don't really understand. Some people say uh, when you when you get married, maybe uh, you are you don't marry from from your church. Maybe this man is from another church, and you you are from another church. When you people get married, you we you we transfer yourself to that to that man church. So me, I don't really understand. Church, my church or the man church is it not the same? Maybe for example, when I get married, maybe the man is going to another church before I will follow the man to that church and we abandon my church. So me, I don't really understand this too. Okay. <laughs> Anybody that can answer her? Huh? That is a wonderful question. Our <laughs> sister asked, uh, yes. if uh, she marry, how is it possible for her not to go to uh, go to her church? Please, anybody that can answer her. Huh? Yes. Let me. Okay. The Lord. Hallelujah. My sister, your question is a very um, wonderful one. And wonderful question. Is, yes. Yes, and it's happening in a lot of homes. The uh, the Bible says that a house divided by itself cannot stand. If you are going to another church and your husband is going to another one, definitely your husband will tell you, come to my church. You will say no. In the morning on Sunday, you maybe the children some will say, mommy, I want to follow you. So we'll go with your, your husband and so we'll go with you. My sister, the house is already divided because you get your own preaching from another side and your husband is already divided. So if your husband is going to a church and... Your church is different. You have to go and join your husband. If your husband decided and say, I cannot come to your church, you have to be with your husband. And if you, if you know that your church is, is where you want to go, then you put it in prayer. You understand? You put it in prayer and pray. Pray about it. Say to your pastor, let them be praying about it. You will see one day, you will say, ah, look at what they did to me in this church. Ah, ah, look, this church, look at what they I don't want to go there again. And it will be causing problem. So I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. God, God bless you. Any other person? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, for me, the both church is a living church. Yeah, you can, uh, the woman can follow her husband, or her husband can follow the woman to the, to the church for the peace to win. At least one has to come down for, for the other. At least. We as a woman, we have to submit to our husband. You understand? Is your is your character sometimes? Is your character that can even preach to your husband? That depends on the message you are listening to, because the Bible says even communication for the good manners. Is the character you are possessing at home that will make the man say, "Oh no, I want to go. To, I want to go and see your church." You understand? It might be that maybe what is hearing from his church is different from. You. Uh, what is hearing from the other side in this time. But you have to obey first as your husband. Right. Follow him. Maybe you're praying to God. You'll be praying to God, God. Maybe you will go to the church and you see that the message is not is not sound. You understand? So you can be praying to God that God will open your husband's eyes then you can follow you to your church. If your church is also a living church. But if the both church is not a living church, then there's a problem. But you have to obey your husband and start praying to God. So take it to a living church. God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless what you. What if the man is a Muslim and the woman is a What? What? <laughs> if the man is a if the man is a Muslim, my sister, you know you knew you knew very well that the man was a Muslim before you married him. And 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 you're already in your marriage. You cannot because he's a Muslim now. You want to go away from the marriage. You, you, if he said you are following him to the mosque and you say, No, I don't want to go again, maybe he start to fight you every day. Every day. The only thing you have to do is that prayer, and you say to your church, It's prayer. There is nothing somebody can do in that kind of a situation. You cannot use force. It's only prayer. You, you say to your pastor, you say to your church member, I want to come to church. Then my husband 
not allow me to do more. Please, please, pray. I need prayer. Be praying. Even if you say you should not pray, when you see it's not at home, pray to God. God hear prayers. And you will hear, you will see one day, we will just conclude and say, ah, this mosque, the, I thought we, I have a situation like this, so look at where I'm, my company or my work, they are giving me food, but they want to drive me. And you say, don't worry, I will pray. I will say to somebody, I know people are going to pray. And at the end of the day, the team work out fine. And you will not say, ah, so this thing can work, let's go to your church. So there's nothing God cannot do. That's what I believe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, can I say? Go. Uh, my sister, see, if the man is a Muslim and uh, you being a Christian, know very well that that man is a Muslim. Is it because of love or money? I don't know. The person will put his head. Or that person, see, it's not easy to pray. Do you think this prayer is easy to pray before God will change something? It's not very easy. Before you marry a man, make sure if you are really a Christian that really desire heaven, because removing yourself now because of your husband, now you now want to be joining him in in, 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 in this thing, what they call the mosque. mosque. Meaning you have you have renounced Jesus totally because you can't serve two masters. You will leave the mosque and be crying to God. No. When you know the man is a Muslim, don't marry him. If he's if you can preach to him, oh God, change him. He's not pretending. That is good for me. I can't be desperate because I want to marry. I go and put my head in the Muslim hand yes. because yes. Yes. when you are inside the marriage, sister, when you are inside the Lord, go inside that. Go inside the marriage. There is no way you can ever follow the man to God when you are giving your light to God. It is impossible. Light and darkness cannot dwell together. Praise the Lord. You will not be going to darkness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, please, I'm trying to... If there is any way we can solve it, let's solve it. Because I'm not seeing those eyes on my phone. Yeah, I don't know why you are not seeing it. But I want to see if we can... Uh, how, how will I do it? Um, I'm trying to see... Um, to put it uh, very proper so that people can be seeing you. Because people are hearing you. Um, I don't know if you can talk, be talking if they can hear you. Yeah, are you hearing now? Yes, I'm hearing you, sir, but I can't see you. Okay, no, you cannot see me because I've turned it. Okay. Yes, I was I was trying to do it so that you can be see me. Uh, you can be on Facebook so that uh, so that the people on Facebook can also be seeing you. Uh, that was why. That was what I was trying to do. Um, let me see if it, if it's going to work like this. Um, yeah, uh, the people on Facebook uh, on Zoom. Are you seeing it? Yes, but it's not too clear. Um, hold on. Um, I'm trying to see how will I. I want to be. Please, the pe the person on the. Okay. Okay. Why can't he see? Uh, Mr. Daniel, are you can you come in on the on the uh, WhatsApp? Call me on WhatsApp video. Is it possible? If you allow me, I can call him and then put it everybody oh, yeah. No, if you... oh, okay, um, that, Mr. Daniel, Mr. Dan, can you hear me? Eh? Okay, let them. Um, what I want to do now, let another person call you on Facebook. Yeah, but I'm, I was trying to see if you can call me on the on the on the WhatsApp. Your WhatsApp is it working? Okay, if your WhatsApp is working, trying to call me on video call. Let me see there. If it's not, uh, if it is not, okay. Okay. Yeah, because I'm trying to see if I can call so that the people on Facebook can see it. Also, the people on Zoom. Because if you if I like if you call only him now, the people on the uh, how will I do it? Um, how do you want to do it over there? There's actually there's actually a way you would call him what like a uh, video call on Facebook and then share your screen from zoom so you you sharing screen you get it 
or we could do this you know we could connect it to the tv mm -hmm. and then put uh -huh. there is a way we could also do it as well is uh yeah maybe you and i will be the one to video column yeah i could connect my oh, hold on. facebook to the tv hold on yeah mr daniel yes sir yeah, can you hear? Let me see. It's not like it can be talking, we will be hearing, even though we don't see it. Yeah, oh, yeah, go ahead, Daniel. Okay, okay. God My bless. My name is Daniel I'm from, from Ghana. I'm from the northern part of Ghana. God bless you. You are welcome, Mr. Daniel. We are happy. We are happy. Yes. We are happy to have you here. Um, we are so grateful to have you here this uh, this evening. Uh, this our beloved brother Daniel is going to share his testimony. I pray God help us this evening with time because of, uh, if we begin to listen to his testimony, we are not going to leave here today. He's going to share with you how he traveled far, uh, how he traveled, what he have done for many pastors, but how God arrested him. It's going to be something you will shock. You will, you will shock after hearing his testimony. Then a place over to you. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. God bless you. My name, my name is uh, Brother Daniel. I'm from the northern part of Ghana. Um, I don't know my father. When I was you about think I called you for this one, don't work like this. Told me that, uh, but uh, hold on, Daniel. Hold on, Daniel. But are you? Are you? Be people are hearing Abi. I bet uh, the thing is breaking. Is he? Are you both hearing now? No, 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 sir. Wow. Okay, you are not hearing now. Daniel, go ahead. Let me see whether. Hey. It's... Uh, let him just be talking. Don't bother about yeah. it. Because okay. if you are doing that, we will not live here. Okay, Daniel, go ahead. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so about eight years, my mother told me that uh, my father passed away. <laughs> Because of uh, because of my father is not alive, I need to send my mother out from the family. It's not um. It's not something that will work. It's not something that will work. I'm sorry for that. We're trying to. Connecting, but it's not. Uh, it's not working. Yeah, Mister Daniel, let somebody, let somebody call you on Facebook. Let let somebody else call you on Facebook. Oh, okay. It's not working. Okay. Mm. Okay, sir. It's not working therefore we have to continue where we stop and that uh, we i uh, will try to to bring him in either another day please just bear with me i'm so sorry about that praise the lord Hallelujah. please we are going to um i don't know if our sister can write her uh, write him please to let him know that uh we are going to bring him online, maybe on another day, please, so that uh, we we first of all program him before bringing him online, please. Okay. Is anybody doing that? Okay, I will do that right. Okay, here. okay, please. Any other question? Yes, sir. We had a, one, uh, another question here from. He says. Yeah, someone was asking, she said. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. Please, the last question, they are not clarifying the last question. That one of the, the one that I want to ask about the husband and wife. The, the, the woman is I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. 
What was the last question about the? Uh, because of the brother. Okay, the question of uh, sister, uh, sister, um, sister Joy. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry for that. That question about uh, from sister Joy. No, uh, normally, uh, sister Joy, remember what the Bible says. A husband, a wife should submit to the husband. But if per invention you have married, that you find out that the church your husband is going is all those uh, church that are dancing kokoma. And I pray that we should not marry, you should not marry such a such a, a man that is going to church where they are dancing kokoma. You know? I don't I will not advise somebody to go to that place. Because, number one, when you are in a place of truth, and you now go to a place where there is no truth, just like if somebody that was eating a uh, fried rice, you are eating chicken every day by day, and now you now find out that now you are not eating, you are not soaking curry every day by day, you are not drinking curry, you are no longer seeing chicken to eat, you are no longer seeing bone to draw, you are not eating. Uh, Using Gary to eat banana or to eat a crayfish. Therefore, I believe that there will be there will, there will be very there will be a great uh, problem there. The first thing that uh, we must do, such a woman must take time to pray. Take time to pray. That is the reason why that you must pray before marry. There are there are men today in the church. They pretend they are Christians. By the moment you marry them, they will show you their red color. In the in the process of telling you that they are they are looking for wife, they want to marry. They can pretend like angel. But by the moment that they have married, what happened? You begin to see their color. And such people are in the church today. And Bible makes us to understand that we must be very very careful. You can even see that uh, even the Bible makes us to understand that the, the Antichrist transforms himself to become the angel of light. Why? Because he wants to deceive. He wants to deceive people. He wants to deceive people. And because of that, we must to be very careful as Christians. We must to be very careful as sister that want to marry, so that we not marry a wrong man that will take the person to her. If you marry a wrong man, that is the end of your, that is the end of your Christianity. Please, I. Huh? Daniel is calling. Shall I pick? Huh? Daniel is calling. Shall I pick? Where Where are you going? Oh, yeah, pick it. Let's see if it, if you can hook him. No problem. If you cannot, it is very, it's very, very important for us not to want, for us not to enter into wrong marriage. Many people today who are born and gay Christians, born and gay women, they have entered wrong marriage, but at the end of it all, now today they are no longer talking about Christianity. They are no longer talking about heaven. They are now putting worldly things. Why? Because the man deceived them. The same way today, many women also who 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 started with who started Christianity in holiness church, but because of the allow. The men to deceive them, the men pretend to enter church and take them away and take them to, to Satan. Because of that, we advise a Christian, a sister that want to marry, or a brother that want to marry, must be very, very careful, must be must prayer, must be prayerful. You must pray and pray. So that you will know what you will not enter, you will not enter one chance. Please advise you, sister that asked that question. If you marry, if you marry a somebody who is going to a church whereby they preach holiness and righteousness, I believe that uh, even though that uh, even though that uh, you marry, you not go to that church where people are preaching holiness, and I still believe that it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not evil, it's not a sin. But when you go to a place whereby you not marry, you go to a place. 
where they are preaching kokoma, where they are dancing kokoma, that is where it becomes trouble. But if you marry a man, a man who is going to a church, a living church, after you marry him, you are expected to what? To follow him to that church because it's still the same, it's still the same doctrine of, the, of holiness. Why were you not going to follow him to that place? Be eh? Because he's the head of the house, and that place is a place of where saints gather. As 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 a saint, as a place where saints gather, place you are free to what? To follow him and go to that place. That is it. Praise the Lord. Beloved, uh, I have been now. Should I hook him up? Yes, if you can, if you can hook down the. I hope uh, the question you have you have got your answer now. Yes, sir. Okay, God bless you. Please hook down there. Down name is on. Oh yeah, hook down there now. Okay. Uh, let's unmute our mic. I, I think so. Yes, yeah, uh, our mic is okay. moved already. Okay. Now, uh, let me share my screen. Uh, okay. We want. Uh, can we see him? Hold on. No. No. No, we are not seeing. Okay, we are seeing him. Down there. Yeah. Down there. Mm, I'm coming. Brother, yeah, down there. Daniel, go ahead and speak. Can we hear him? Yes, down there. Go ahead. Brother, Daniel, go ahead and speak. It's not possible. I'm not getting him done. I'm not getting him. I don't. I'm not getting him. I'm not hearing okay, him. Okay, brother, Daniel, wait. Brother, Daniel, wait. Just hold on. Can we hear me on Zoom? We are hearing you, but we are not hearing Daniel. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do something now. Just hold on. Yeah, what we are going to do, just hold on. What I want to open the We can see him. I can see him. Because we are together. Yeah. So you can hear. Okay, Brother Daniel, speak. No, Daniel, it's not it's not going to be good for the people on Facebook. No. It's not going to be wait. Brother Daniel, wait. Okay, please. Tell Daniel that we are going to bring. Tell Daniel to give me. We are going to bring him online on Wednesday because now we are going to bring him on Wednesday because of uh, it's not. Uh, we are going to give him full hour because now if Daniel starts his testimony, two hours time we are not living here. <laughs> are, you, are you hearing me? Uh, what time on Wednesday? Tell him on Wednesday by 5 p.m. Okay. Brother Daniel, uh, is it, will it be possible for you Wednesday 5 p.m.? No, Wednesday is just uh, today's time. Yeah, 5 p.m. Nigeria, uh, African time, right? No. Five, okay. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. in Nigeria. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Are we one hour ahead, or? Yeah, yeah we are one hour ahead. Please. So yes, please. 5 p.m. will be 4 p.m. for you, brother Daniel. Please end down the end down the call, please. Praise the Lord. Yes, I want to say. Please, I'm sorry for that. I was trying to bring Daniel on the way from Ghana. To speak to us about uh, how just, how he gave power to many pastors in many pastors in Nigeria Daniel, in Ghana uh, many the, pastors the how he um, how he gave them and power I will send you a how, Facebook, okay? how he used to travel out of uh, out yeah, of Ghana but he's a Ghanaian he have never he have never traveled to anywhere in Fisica but in spiritual he have visited a lot of country almost the country the whole country in the world. I bring, but glory be to God today is not a, is not a Christian. I was trying to bring him so that you will see, you will hear from him, the pastors you call your pastors, how 
how did how if uh, 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 how a native daughter is empowering them but i pray god will deliver his children in jesus name i believe there is no any question anymore i have a question sir. Welcome. sister I have a question. Someone asked a question last week. Sister who? I asked you, but you didn't read it out. Yes, uh, I don't know. Because I have some I'm hey. to read out. So you can go ahead. Okay. Um, thing, a wearing of trousers for women is a sin. So I asked that. Wearing of pants, because man and woman, they are wearing pants. Is it still a sin? <laughs> <laughs> praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother, do you hear the question? I don't hear the question. Huh? I didn't hear it. Brother, the question, the question our sister asked. He said now that uh, they are saying that uh, wearing on trousers is a sin. But uh, uh, wearing on pint, a woman wearing pint, is it not a sin also? Uh, yeah? <laughs> Sister? Sister? Please praise the Lord. I want to I want to give a short answer to that question. If you can remember what I said, the time of uh, the time of white panda, I said number one, anything you anything you anything you are doing, if your heart did not condemn you, is not a sin. But as long as you are, if you are a born again Christian. That you find out that you do something, your heart judge you. Know that that thing is what is a sin. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the spirit of God is inside you. Mm -hmm. You see all those pastors. You know some pastors are telling women today don't wear pants to come to church. Holy Ghost will enter. I am not here to tell you that. Listen to me. I, I will tell you the truth. I am not here to do that. Because I'm under the spirit. I'm under the spirit of God. I'm not those people. Are you hearing me now? I will tell you the truth. The truth is that if paravention you find out that the Spirit of God did not condemn you for that, that is not a sin. You use that to what? To protect your body, inside your body. But as long as your spirit judge you, don't do it. But if your spirit did not condemn you, you have sinned against God, therefore, you are free. Are you hearing me now? That is the answer I give to that uh, to that matter. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Have you got the? I hope the answer is okay by you, sister, that asked the question. Yes, sir. Okay. It's okay. God bless. God bless all of you. Any other question? Or oh, we are closing now. Yes. We are closing, Abby. Yeah, eh? My question is, I've heard it before, mm -hmm. and um, they preach it before, but I just want to know if what, what I heard was right. Okay. I also said it for my children, that I think it for my children like that. I didn't hear you. How, how is God, how is Jesus God? Okay. How is Jesus God? This is a something that I, I, I analyzed it to our children yesterday. How is Jesus become God? Jesus, okay, anybody that can answer it before any, let me not just be only the person talk. Any, anybody? Bro, anybody? Question, how is Jesus God? Brother, can you answer the question? Hallelujah. Because, hello? Uh, Hold on. Are you poor hearing? Uh, the, Bible, the Bible says, in, in the beginning, Jesus was with God, and everything was made by him, and all things that was made was made by him. I want, I want my beloved sister to know Jesus Christ of 
power and dominion is given to him. And every authority has been added unto him. That's why he is the creator. Are we hearing him? Are we hearing him? No, sir, no. Okay, sir, they are, no, sir. No, sir. Sir, they are not hearing you because of the small phone. Uh, please, the sister that the sister that connect on the messenger, please hook to us on Facebook. Thank okay. you. Now you remember what I the question of this question that uh, our brother our sister asked yesterday. Our children, one of our child asked this question, and I was so happy. I was so happy about the question that our beloved child asked yesterday. How is Jesus God? How is Jesus God? If you find out, you find out in the Bible, in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. That was where our beloved daughter take the Bible question yesterday. If you, we can go there. Let's go there. God, I'm missing on you that is talking there. John 1. That man yourself. Why? Are we there? Yes. John chapter 1, verse 1 said, In the beginning was what? Was the word. The word, the word in capital letter. Am I right? Yes. In capital letter, and the word with what? With what? Capital letter. Am I am I right? Yeah. And the word was with God. And the word was with God. Simply mean that that word, that word. Who is that word? Oh, Jesus. Eh? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is the word of God. Je that is the the word is Jesus. The spoken word of God is what is Jesus. Praise the Lord. Just like now, as I am now, as I am now, I open my mouth to speak the word. Who is that? Eh? Is that not, is that not Yes. That is, that is it. That is what happened. Jesus is the word, is the spoken word of God. It's through him that the, it's through him that the whole world was created. It's the spoken word of God. That is the truth of it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, how Jesus become God? Because Jesus is the spoken word of God. Because of that, we must to know that uh, we must to know that uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they are three Trinity in one God. Jesus is God. Don't look as if don't don't see him that now Jesus Christ came to the world as a woman be because of that. How is it possible that it's not God? It's possible because he came in the form of man to what to redeem that wish that was broken. By the first man, Adam. Jesus Christ to Jesus Christ came to war to rebuild it again, to return us back to the first love of the Father. That we may have access to go back to heaven. If not the death of Christ today, who will not be having access to talk about to be to be children of God? To, to return back to heaven. If not Jesus Christ that pay for that pay our diary through his blood, through his blood. Now we have not been redeemed by his blood. That is it. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, believe that the Jesus Christ, the word of God is what is Je the word of God is Jesus. It simply mean God and Jesus, they are what they are not two. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope we are okay with that. Yes, sir. Mm. The, the sister that asked the question, are you okay with that? Let's go. 
Yes, the sister that asked the question, are you okay with that? Yes, okay, God and Jesus, they are not two, they are one. They are not two. Jesus is the, I read a place for you just now. Jesus is the spoken word, just like as you are now. Eh? You speak, you speak a word. And you, when you speak, who is that? Is it a different person? No, but sorry, sir. Like, like the um, the preaching I heard before mm. is almost the same thing like what you said now. But Jesus, Jesus said, "He will go," mm. and God enter into him, mm. and God used him just like when we we now. Maybe I have um, I have a, a seminar to attend, mm. and I decided to send my son mm. to go and present me. Mm. Probably it's me that is also there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Sorry, what I, sir, I do too. I don't talk for myself, but mm. I'm talking for my father. No, since I'm not, that's not that can is can not I true. Praise that God. Is, that is what um, I heard, even like the Holy Spirit. That he said he would leave is still God, because he did not do it by himself, but he do it by the power of God. And it was saying that I live with you, the Holy Spirit, which that same Holy Spirit is also God, because it's God that he repented, and it's the same the Holy Spirit, which is God that is living for us. Sister, God bless you. Uh, let me. How? Yeah. Let Sister. me clarify a little thing here. Who is Let's that? Go. Who is that speaking? Please. That um. Um, Sister Buki is a husband okay. from Dubai. Okay, God bless you, sir. You are welcome. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, actually, uh, the Bible says in John 46, the Bible says, it says, I am the way, the truth, and, the, and life. No one cometh unto my Father but by me. So, Jesus is God. Now, I know we have this mentality that he sent his son and all that, of course. But there's one thing we should know. Jesus is God made manifest in human form. Because God in his original form cannot come to earth on his own to save man. So he has to come in form of man to save man. That is why John 10, 30 says, he says, I and my father are one. So, we should know that Jesus is God, made manifest on earth as man. That's my own uh, little understanding about that. God bless you, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm mm. very happy to have you people in Dubai this evening. Um, I want to addition to that. If you find out that um, how Jesus Christ came to this world, you will find out that uh, in the book of Psalm, make us to understand that the Jesus, God said, these days, I what? These days, I what? Who can, who, who can, who, who can tell us what happened there? This day have I begotten thee. This, this day have I begotten thee as what? As a son. As a son to mm. go into the world and what and to re, and to bring, to restore back what has been broken. Addition to that, also, we can see that Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ came, Jesus Christ was making the people to to know where our brother read before in John fourteen, uh, in John fourteen six, in, in John the six, John six, sorry, in John six, and uh, also. We can also see that that the Lord Jesus Christ was analyzing to us, telling us what what is what is doing that him and what and his father they are what they are one. When you still read in the book of uh, John fourteen, when when Philip was saying, he said, uh, Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and uh, show us the uh, Father and his. And he suffered us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long, be so long in time with you, and yet have ye, thou not known me, Philip? Are you seeing it now? He that what he that seeth me have what have seen the Father, and how saying that show us the Father. Believe thou 
Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, and the Father is in me. The word which I spoke unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the work. Simply mean, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they are one. The Lord, why God, if you check in the book of Genesis chapter 1, when the world was created, you could see how the world was created. And uh, in reach a time, the Lord said, God said, let us, let us make man. Are you seeing it now? He used the word. He didn't use the word again, I make man. He said, now, nah, let us, are you seeing it now? Let us make man in what? In our own image and word and likeness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> are you seeing it? Are you seeing it there now? He used the word. Let us now make man. Simply mean that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Jesus before the world began, Jesus Christ was already existing. How can the person that was there when the whole world was created, and how can that person become the son of his of, of, of God? Are you seeing it now? How is it possible? A somebody that was created be a somebody that have been existing just like a just like a two of us now. Two of us have a company, and at the two of us have a company. We open the company. A time will not come now. We not tell you right now. You are now my servant. Eh? A time now come now, and I say you are not my word. You are now my servant. Praise the Lord. Let us think about that. Therefore, my dear sister, Jesus Christ is what is the spoken word of God. He have came. He came. That Jesus Christ came to this world to rebuke, to redeem us back again. That is his purpose. That is the reason why you find out that if Jesus Christ is his son, Jesus Christ, Mary did not sleep with him. Uh, uh, jo uh, Joseph did not sleep with Mary before Jesus Christ came to the world. Did you see it in your Bible? It was not so. Jesus Christ was not was not born you say, the way you and I was uh, uh, came to this world. It was not so. Simply mean that Jesus Christ is what? It just Christ came in the form of man, but he's a spirit. If you check the back. Bible, you find out that the, the Bible said Jesus Christ was with what without the without uh, was with with the spirit without measure. Are you seeing it now? Without measure, the spirit that was with him without it was without measure. Simply mean you cannot measure it. He have no limit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't want to. If I take that, if I say let's us begin to go, I may I may leave you ten o'clock on that matter. I'm happy such a, a moment like this, please. I pray God help us. I hope uh, it has been verified now. They are writing me. No, Jesus. Because, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I want to ask one thing. Because as Je Jesus said, he said on the last day, on that day, he said he's going to sit at the right hand of the Father, judging. So... Uh, God help us. Okay. Uh, sister, about that, you hear what I said before? That God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they are three, but they are one. Why is it that now everything has been handed over to Jesus Christ? Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me? Everything it has been handed over to Jesus Christ by what? By God the Father. Why? Because of what he has done. Why? Because of his obedience. Why? Because of his humility. Why? Because he has bring himself down for people to mock him. He didn't say that because he's the God, is the because he's the God, the God the Son. He really said that he was there. How is it possible? When me with you, we created a world. Me with you, me with you, we created woman beast. Now you are not telling me to go and become your son. I kill you today. He didn't do that. He humbled himself and became what? And became obedient to death. 
After that, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, what happened? Said so now, power, all power, I will, all power have been given unto me, both on earth and what in heaven. That is it. Because of his own bonus, your whole bonus can work, your whole bonus and your humility can work, can make God. When God sees your whole bonus like Jesus Christ, that is the reason why we should pray that, Lord, I want to humble like Jesus Christ. I want to be meek like Jesus Christ. I want to be gentle like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to demonstrate to us how we should live as a Christian, if we are Christians. He came to show us the example. It came to war to show us the true Christianity. Hmm. I want to tell you that God, I don't know how to describe what Christ has done for us. The, the, the position of Christ, how, how Christ bringing down, it came to this wicked world, this sinful world. It's somebody that is living in paradise. Just decided one day, I want to come down to this world to die for people, sinful people. Ha. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My time is off. You have sent me a message the time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we happy this evening? Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are going to close now. We are not going to continue. Sister, I hope your question will be clarified now. The sister that asked the question, I hope you... Eh? Yes, sir. God bless you. Now let us uh, let us bow down and uh, and pray. Remember all the people, the pregnant sisters, people that are having issue. Remember today's ninth virgin, and anybody that must be on that ninth virgin, apart from the pregnant sisters, if you did not contact me, if I see you on the program, I'm going to delete. I'm going to uh, remove you. Please don't be offended for that. I say call us so that it's not because of anything. Why? We want to know your issue. So that we so that we can know how to pray, pray with you this night. That is the reason why I ask you to call. But if you want to join us to pray for the people that have issue, you are free to call us, please. So, uh, okay, that question we are not going to take it anymore because of the time. Please, sister, that wrote that question. Please just be here with us until on Friday. Let us bow down as we pray. Let us begin to thank God for today. Let us thank God for what He has done for us. Let us thank God for what He has taught us this evening. Let us appreciate Him because He's God. Let us give thanks to Him because He's worthy to be praised. Let us thank Him. Let us bless Him. For, where you, for what you have taught you this evening, begin to appreciate him. Thank God for all the questions. Thank God for all the answers. Bless the name of the Lord. Give thanks to him. Appreciate him. Tell him you are grateful. Tell him, Lord, I thank you for giving me such an opportunity like this to hear all those messages. I have planned before, but now I can see Thank God for the light of Jesus Christ. Father, we are grateful. We appreciate you. We give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you adoration. For your knowledge, for your wisdom, for your understanding. Thank you because today there was no argument. Everything went well. Thank you for the people that connect them from America, from Asia, from Europe, from Africa, including the ones in Dubai and London. Lord, I want to appreciate you. Thank you, Father, for your children that take their time to hear your word. Merciful Father, I am grateful for such a time like this. Lord, be thou glorified, be thou exalted, be thou magnified for what you have decided to do. Blessed Redeemer, 
I pray, mercy from Jesus, that we have heard the word. May we not just be a hearer alone. Lord, may we also be the doer of your word in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray that this word will not depart away from us. Lord, help us to continue. Help us, my Father, Lord Jesus, that this war will not stand against us on the last day. Lord, I pray that you will circumcise our heart, that you will discipline us more and more. We want to be disciplined Christians. We want to be a Christians. Christians of the kingdom. Not the Christians that rebel against you. Father, help us. Lord, speak to us. We want to know your mind. We want to know the secret of the truth. We want to know it. Lord, we want to know your way. Teach us your way more and more. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you. Lord, as many those that have shared this message, I ask you to bless them. Protect them. Guide them. See them through. I pray, Father, that their good will not bring evil to them. As they choose to evangelize, to share the gospel to your children. Lord, I pray that your blessing go before them. I pray, O oh Lord, that they may not be cast away after sharing the message for other people to be saved. Lord, I pray, help me that after all this labor, after all this stress, after this moment, Lord, help me that, O oh Lord, all my labor will not be in vain. Lord, help me. Give us more grace to come close to you. Give us more grace to abide in you. Lord, we are praying, Lord, take away every arrogance away from us. Every character that does not give glory to you. Lord, Jesus, us more and more. Lord Jesus, I pray for your happy hand. Pray for you open our eyes of understanding for us to understand the kind. For us to know the truth. Take us deeper, deeper in righteousness, deeper in sanctification, deeper in purity, deeper in humility, deeper in gentleness, deeper in love, oh, deeper in patience, deeper in perseverance, oh, merciful Father. This is what I pray. Help me. Help me, oh Lord. Discipline my mouth that I will not be a talkative. Discipline the mind of your children. Holy Father, this is what we are praying for. Lord, circumcise our ear. Circumcise our mouth. Circumcise our heart. Lord Jesus, that we may be like you. Blessed be the Holy Day, Father. So I'm leaving your children. I'm not leaving them alone. The food, the water. Holy Father, take absolute control. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless all of you all in Jesus' name. Amen. After this, the next program, you know, 5.30 a.m., endeavor to put your phone alarm. 5.30 a.m., be in program. Have a blessed and wonderful night.